how to remove rust from a tool using electrolysis. We'll need water to submerge the tool, sodium carbonate, a steel anode, and a car charger to give current. You set your car charger to 6 volts. We're going to use one tablespoon of sodium carbonate per one gallon of water. So we need five tablespoons for a five gallon bucket. Then we'll submerge the tool in the water. We'll put the positive charge to the anode and the negative charge to the tool. That's our rusty tool. The electrical current from the tool to the anode will help the rust flow from that current so it'll go from the tool to the anode. This does release hydrogen and oxygen, so it needs to be done in a well-ventilated area, like a big open garage. The tool will be left with a black ionized oxygenation from the electrolysis, which we'll wipe off with the finishing pad when we're done. We'll also have to turn this several times. It only works by line of sight to uh, get all the rust off. There we go. So we'll wait a little while and we'll come back. Here's after one hour. You can see the bubbles, red water. Okay, we're two hours in. We're going to pull the anode and see what it looks like. Here you can see all the rust build up on it. And we're going to flip the tool. This is where you can see where it used to be a red tool. It's starting to get cleaner. We're going to turn it See where all the rust is going off the base, most of it. I'm gonna check back. Okay, we're three hours in. You see, we've got rust soup now. So take it out and see what it looks like. Here's the anode. And here's our cathode. Starting to look pretty good. Here we are in the kitchen to rinse off the cathode. Got a finishing pad. It's not sanding, just finishing to rub off any extra that's left on there. So as you can see, most of the rust is gone. You can see this black iron oxide left over. That we're just going to 
rub off with the finishing pad. Here's the finished product with the magnetite scrubbed off. No rust. All that's left to do is primer and paint it because now it's easy to rust again. So the poodle say, what did we just do? Water oxidizes on iron. Here's your formula. Electrons are consumed by hydrogen ions from the water with dissolved oxygen. Here's your formula. AQ for aqueous. If your pH is low, hydrogen ions consume electrons and make hydrogen gas instead of water. Here's your formula. Sodium carbonate is added so the water can conduct electricity. So you have sodium and carbonate ions created. The sodium moves to the cathode, which is our rusted tool. And the carbonate moves to the anode, our rod. Creates our current. So the anode is just a contact for the current. And the cathode gains electrons, which is a reduction. It reduces water and the rusty ion. The reduction of water causes bubbles as hydrogen gas. Hydrogen blasts off the rust. And what's left with the black stuff that's rubbed off is a mixture of iron metal and magnetite. Here's your formula. And the cool thing is that the black stuff on the magnetite is the same as what we use in magnetic recording tapes. And that's how you do cathodic cleaning.